So here we have another winter map for Farming Simulator 2015 and this one has taken a step further to the previous one which I did where the snow is actually snowflakes and also you have the snow on the trees and also there is more in the way of snow on the floor. Now I've got this tractor here with this snow plow which I found a mod. Um, it doesn't actually plow snow. That's one thing you can't still do yet. Um, you cannot plow snow in this map. But despite that, it's still a very well made modification to the map. So I'm going to take it around anyway, just so I look the part. Um, pretending I'm plowing snow, but actually I'm not. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you for a tour. And obviously you probably already know this map, because this is the original Bjornholm map. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the road. And the reason for that is because I think it's been very well done. Um, the traffic is still travelling at the same slow pace and you can see that the road is actually, well it looks treacherous but um, there's not any slipping about um, but it's very well done in the way of things that you can see each side of the road still and there's no tyre marks over the centre so everyone's still sticking to their side of the road um, that would be amazing if there was actually a mod to make the vehicles slip around if they were going too quick but obviously the cars in this game really don't seem to get above 20 miles an hour so we're not going to have that issue but like I say the map is well done the road is very well done you can even see the time marks in the road from the traffic um, and also the grass verges are very snowy but you can still see the grass through it which is nice it's just got a snowy texture on it and if you look carefully the snowflakes which are falling actually are snowflakes and the way this has been done is by changing the rain um, fall uh, texture. It's no longer a water droplet, it's now an actual snowflake. Um, now one thing this map actually does do is the way to install it, you actually have to overwrite your original map um, textures and files. So what you have to do is actually back up your original map files so you can retrieve them if you ever want to change back. This isn't the map this isn't a mod which you can put into your mods folder it will not work if you do that you actually have to back up your original map and you have to overwrite them with these files so it's really important that you actually back up that's if you want to get your original map back of course so um, I think we can clearly see that it's snowing I actually had to wait quite a while to get the snow to come um, because this is going by the original games speed I put it in 120 and it still took me quite a while but we're here now and it is snowing one thing to point out the fields do not have snow on um, so that is still something which needs to be worked on but like I say it's looking a lot more wintry now we've got this now I did review that previous map which is still a really good map and I do recommend downloading it um, that was snowy but this one has got a little bit more it's gone a step further and it's got um, things like the snow on the trees. Um, the trees do still have their leaves, but they've now got the snowy texture on them. So it's not 100% winter. You wouldn't expect the pine trees there to lose their leaves, so that's realistic. Um, but these are a tree. These are deciduous trees, and they would leaves, lose their leaves. But having said that, it really doesn't matter. You can't even tell if you don't think about it. Um, it's still wintry and for this time of year it's perfect so this is going to be a very Christmassy mod I would say I think quite a lot of people will be downloading it and I'm highly recommending it so I think what we'll do is we'll pull over here and we'll uh, have a little bit of a walk in this little wooded area and see what we can do even the fence posts here have got snow on them so that's nice as if the snow was driving in at an angle you can still see a bit of green from the grass in there so that's nice too and all of the textures in here have got snow on them. Now one thing, one thing to point out here, some of the areas under the trees which are covered by the canopy haven't got snow on, which is nice, so it's not 100% snow. You've still got those protected areas, because unless it was a really intense snowfall, you would still have areas which did not get covered in a wooded area. So clearly this is a very picturesque mod, and definitely like I say fitting this time of year and well it's certainly an exciting mod
but it's very important if you install it, like I keep saying, that you back up your original files. So it would be nice if the snow settled and you could actually um, plow the snow. That would be nice. That mod was implemented into 2008 and I'm not sure if it was put into 2009 and beyond. I think it was. I never downloaded it myself though. Now if that could somehow be recreated and put into FS15 then that would be amazing if you could physically push the snow. Now, I don't know if you'd be able to actually push it or if it would just sort of clear and disappear when you push it but that would be nice. Um, but every time I do one of these reviews of these maps they're getting one step further so if we can go another step then that would be amazing obviously it's probably not going to be too easy to do that so we can't really um, hold out a great deal of hope in the way of that but it has been done before on the previous version so hopefully hopefully someone will have the time to do something like that and I'm sure it will be greatly appreciated by everyone I'm sure I would download it and I would definitely um, do a video to show everyone else what it's got to offer so anyway that is this map clearly you can see that everything's the same model wise nothing's moved but it's now got the snowy textures on everything which is nice so that is basically the snow map in farming simulator 2015 so a very big thank you to the creator of this map and also the download link where I downloaded it from is in the description below if you want to have it too so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video